Hey everyone, Stephanie here. So this is going to be yet another Hobby Lobby clearance haul video. I believe it's video number seven and I will put the number in um, the title of the video. So I, this is from three different trips from Hobby to Hobby Lobby and I found a lot of great stuff. All so, right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you some of the things that I grabbed. Now I did grab one thing that was not on sale. I believe everything else was on clearance. Okay. So I finally got the wax seals. This little, the warmer and the spoon. Um, I've been looking at this for quite a while. I don't know why I didn't grab it before now. I just decided to just go ahead and get it because I have a lot of the um, wax sticks and the little pe wax pieces now. So I think this will come in handy. And it was just $7.99. It was not on sale. Okay. So yeah, it's not bad. You know, I was going to get the one from Amazon. I may still get it, but yeah, it it'll, this will work out just great. Okay. I still have the glue gun as well, but. I'm gonna try. So I grabbed this on a cord string here, this uh, leather lace suede cord. That's what they're calling it. Three millimeter size for 74 cents. It was originally $2.99. I think this is good for, you know, making necklaces and even using on journals. So this is the last one in this color and I thought it was really pretty. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. All right. I grabbed another one of the wax seals. This one is $1.49. It was originally $5.99. It's the pretty copper one. And these go in the glue gun. Now I have the glue gun. Now I have this. So what I was thinking about, if you didn't want to use this whole thing in your glue gun, all you had to do was cut it in half and just put half a piece in a glue gun and use it up. You can actually obviously mix the colors in there. So now I have the glue gun for these as well as these. So you can just chop these up and use them in your little warmer or you can stick this, you know, the stick inside of the glue gun. So I have that. Okay. Now let me show you what else I got. So I actually saw this in the clearance section. Um, you know, where they have in the in this part of the store where they put just all the clearance stuff. I actually bought one of these one of the last times they had these on sale. So this is a dollar seventy-four. It was seven ninety-nine. I pinned these on my like planner bag and you know, like my pencil bag and things like that. So I thought that was pretty cute. I like the little um sort of shapes there, really nice. All right, so I have got one of those. And then I got some cards from Paper Studio. Now they're starting to put more stuff out, y'all. Because when I bought those other cards before, a couple hauls ago, this stuff wasn't out. So it seems like they're finding things and putting them out, right? All right. So these are just envelopes. They're not cards, but uh, I hadn't seen these before. And I do use a lot of envelopes when I'm doing my junk art journaling and my junk journaling. So, and they're different colors. So I think that's going to be kind of cool. You can um, spray these with coffee and your Tim Holtz sprays and you can stamp on them. You can put, um, you know, your dye sprays on them and everything. And they look really, really good in journals. So, and then how many you get in here? 50, you get 50 envelopes. That's a lot. Like, yeah, that's a lot. So I don't use cards that much anymore. And I still have so many left from previous times, you know, and I still have a lot of envelopes left, but I actually do use the envelopes, right? And then here I bought another pack of envelopes. These are the five by five size and they were 99 cents. So, yeah, these are really good, too. Um, you know, you can use these for a, a number of different things. So grab that. And then I saw these. I thought these were interesting. I was so I was looking at these when I first went over to the section. And I was like, oh, I should get these. Right. But then I got distracted looking at other stuff, y'all. <laughs> I was getting distracted. And um, when I went back and I was just looking to see what else they had marked down, I thought, oh, they're still here. So I just grabbed a pack and they were 99 cents. So they're the, like the little this is just a flat card. You don't open it and it comes with an envelope. But again, this would be really, really cool inside of a journal. All right. Inside of an art journal or an art junk journal. So I like to always have different types of stuff when I use, you know, work in my journals. All right. Now I bought this a while ago. I don't think I've shown this before, but this was $3.99. This is a jewelry um, precision magnifier and it was $7.99 and went down to $3.99. So it's like a little, um, little magnifying glass thing, I guess. Right. It comes like that. This was the last one. And um, I got to figure out how it works. I want to open it. <laughs> but yeah, I, you know, I got a lot to show you today, so I will do it some other time. But yeah, I thought that would be kind of interesting to play with for three dollars, three ninety nine. So now um, sometimes I need a magnifier to, to look up close to certain things. So, yeah, that was three ninety nine. Got that. All right. Oh, I found some jewelry, too, in the front, uh, you know, by the registers. They're marking some of that stuff down. So I got these little bracelets. They were $8.99. They got marked down to $2.24. So those are really cute. Right? And then these earrings are really cute. Right? These will mark down to $2.24 as well. So they're really nice. 
kind of fun. I love a hoop. I'm a hoop girly. So, all right. Uh, I don't really, well, I wear these little ones sometimes, but I'm more of a hoop girly. So, all right. So I got those. Now, let me show you some other stuff that I grabbed. All right. So I grabbed some sequins because they were on sale and they were right by, right by the jewelry area. I don't use sequins that much anymore. I still have a lot left over from previous times, but I do love this. I do love this color. This is a really, really, really pretty color, kind of iridescent. And these are 24 cents, y'all. So that's really good. And the orange ones are really cute. Um, you know, I sometimes put these in my journals, strangely enough. I put them on, you know, decorate my journals with them and put them in art and stuff like that. So I always like to have something like this on hand when I get an inkling to put, you know, a cute little sequin on a journal page or you know, canvas or something like that. All right, so I grabbed these. These were actually in the clearance section as well. I want to I always check the clearance section because sometimes they just put stuff back there and I like to just go back there and see what they, you know, what's back there. They had all these things on sale and clearance. So these are like the sawtooth hangers. They're kind of big, but these are great for if you want to hang your artwork, right? If you have big canvases or your pictures or something like that, if you want to hang your artwork, right? So I, I do use these, um, for my canvases. So I just got extras. They were 50 cents a piece. So they were $1.99. They went down to 50 cents. And you get a four pack of each. And they work great. All right. So I got two of those, two of the sawtooth ones. And I got two of the six uh, pieces of the ring hangers. And they were also 50 cents. And this is what they look like. You know, you put them on the back of your canvases. Right. I got that. Okay. And then I got one of these. Um, I love these. I entered into a art competition recently. Well, like last year, 2023, right? And they wanted you to be able to hang it. They wanted to have a wire hang it, a wire hanger type thing on it. And luckily I had some of these from before. And um, I saw this on clearance. And I said, you know what? I'm getting this because it's extra. I have extra pieces for extra canvases. So uh, luckily, you know, my husband and I were able to put it on there and it got into the competition and not competition, but the um what they called it, like, you know, showcasing your art, like art showcase. That's what it was. And um, yeah, a lot of people got to see it. So it didn't sell or anything, but at least I got in, you know what I mean? And I was able to put one of these on the piece. So sometimes when you enter an art showcase, they want you to be able to hang your, 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 your makes, you know, your art, whatever. And having something like this on hand is great. So I'm really glad I found this. I didn't see any more, y'all. I would have got a couple more because these come in handy, especially for the really big canvases. They're amazing. So I got that. So those were the only ones that I grabbed from that. I'm still in the search for, for more of these. I would get definitely get more of these if I could. All right. So even if, even if you just want to hang pictures in your house, grab these because, you know, you can always have extras for 50 cents. I mean, why not? Let me show you what I grabbed from the art department. And there wasn't very much marked down because they were marking things down while I was in the store. Okay. I went like in the middle of the day, y'all. Normally I go in the morning. I couldn't go in the morning that particular day. So I got there when I got there. But they were still marking things down. Now, apparently before I got there, there was one lady there, y'all, who cleaned house. She got all the pencils. She got all the stuff I hadn't, I, I you know, I had, I don't know how to say like, I would maybe had wanted to seen what it was, uh, what was on clearance before I bought it, but she took it all. Her cart was filled and I was kind of peeking in her cart and I was like, oh, you got some goodies there. She goes, yeah, I got lucky. I'm like, mm, damn, I should have been here an hour earlier. <laughs> but you know what, y'all, I don't need anything. I, you know, um, there are some things I would like to have that I could play with and enjoy, but you know, it's whatever. So I was able to get these, the woodless colored pencils. Now, the, all of these were on sale. I think these have been on sale previously. And in previous times, y'all, I wasn't able to grab them. So this time I was able to grab them. They were $24.99. They went down to $5.49. And um, I guess it's the 24 count, 25 count, something like that, 24. Yeah, uh, Master's Touch. So I'm very happy that I was able to get these. I'm going to enjoy playing with these in my um, journals and stuff. So I... Um, I'm glad I got these. Now, I saw some stuff today. I saw a few gessos marked down. Um, some of the pour paints, a lot, all, mostly all of the pour paints were marked down, y'all. If you use that, just know that that pour paint is, is glossy. It has a glossy finish and it's very watery. So you can still use it in your art. Just know that, you know, because it's pour paint, right? It has the, the flow medium in it to make it, you know, flow because it's for, um, you know, that type of work. But all of that was marked down, I think, to like two something. I don't know. I don't need any of those. I have some of those. I didn't get any of those. Um, I didn't see any inks on sale. 
I saw some pencils, some markers. Um, what else did I see? Oh, a lot of the coloring books are on sale. So those of you who love coloring books, uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, uh, I did get a chance to film a few things in the store and I will put that video at the end. OK, it's just a, a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes of video. I would just put it at the end. That way you can see for yourself. I did not get everything though, because like I said, it was the middle of the day and there was a lot of people there and people were looking at me and you know, all this stuff. So I didn't want to be, I wanted to be inconspicuous. <laughs> all right. So I didn't get a whole lot of footage, but I would just show you what I have. All right. Now let me show you the other stuff that I grabbed. All right. So the craft paint section had some sales there as well. Some clearance items. I got all of these. It's called sugar metallic by folk art. I almost never shop in that section unless not as a clearance and or or if I really need something. And most of the time I don't need anything because I have a ton of paint. But these something like this I don't have. And I like that it's textured. So I just kind of grabbed what they had and I got some more today and I will show you that. But let's go ahead and jump uh, into what I got this first trip here. Now, this one was uh, I don't know how much they were originally. Uh, oh, 269, 269. And it looks like 179. And they were marked down to 67 cents. I thought it was 62 cents, but it's 67 cents. So this is a space gray. It's called sugar metallic. It's called space gray and it's really pretty. And it's almost like a, um, it has a sandy texture to it. It's like a texture paint, right? Beautiful. Works great on canvases and in journals. I just, I, lo I love that texture. This is textured metallic paint. I love that. Right now, clearly you can make your own texture metallic paint. Just put a little texture medium in your metallic paint and just mix it up, you know. But I thought these were kind of cool to just try for 67 cents. So I got that one. This one is called Space Gray. All right. Space Gray. Um, Black Comet. Okay. All right. So I got that one. Look at that. Black Comet's just black, I guess. I got, oh, I was looking for another one. A couple more of these. The Glam Gold. Yep. Uh, these are all acrylic paints. You know, they're all 67 cents. I don't know why that was 179, but yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just all the texture paint. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let me see. Let's let's look at this. Like that this, this is almost like a green gold, right? So I grab that. All right, love that. Um, this one is called Golden Light. This is so pretty. Okay, very very pretty. Look at that color. Right, just so pretty. Let me see here. Oh, look at that color. So that's what the color looks like inside. It's very pretty. I think it's going to look really good on the art journal page. Oh, I got some on my hand. So yeah, you see it's textury. It's got texture on it. I love that. Oh, wow. I love that. Okay. Okay, so this one is called Pink Copper. It's so pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. And then this one is called Prosecco. All right. Texture metallic paint. Just beautiful colors. I actually got more of this today. <laughs> that's what they had. So I just grabbed them because, you know, they're so cheap. And then this one is called, I guess, Polar, Polar, Polar Polarized. I think it's Polarized. Yeah, it's just like a white, right? I like that. And then this is called Sandcastle. This is like an off-white, right? So, yeah, these are nice, right? So if you're a mixed media artist or you want to try mixed media, definitely check out the paints in the craft department. All right, let me show you the other paints that I grabbed, okay? All right, so back to the art department. I ended up grabbing these uh, pastel pencils. It says high quality or oil free long lasting pigment. They were two dollars and twelve cents. Um, when the, when I went to get these, I did not see these, so I don't know if somebody put them out or put them back or whatever. So I just grabbed them. I actually do have a few pastel pencils in my pencil case, just a few. I don't know, maybe like six or so. And I actually really like them. I don't use them enough, but I really like them. So what I'm gonna do is keep these out and just sort of keep them in my like my art bag, so I can just kind of grab them and use them. Right, something like this is great to play with in your art journals, when you're learning, you know, these inexpensive sort of, you know, kind of nice, nicely inexpensive art supplies. It's kind of fun to use. So if you see these, you should, you should grab them. That way you can kind of learn and play with these. And I guess this is a, oh, it's a 12 pack. So this is like 24, I think, and this is 12. So I got a nice little assortment of pencils there. I like that. Okay. Nice little assortment of paint and everything. All right. Let me so I got more paint. <laughs> this is, I got this today with the pencils. And I got a couple other things. And I'll show you that. All right. So um, let's see. How many did I get last time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven bottles, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, nine bottles last time. And I got two, four, six, eight, eight bottles this time. Not that I need all this paint, y'all, but it was 67 cents. I mean, why not? Right. Again, back to the metallic, the sugar metallic. This is called Black Comet. I love this. I was looking for more of this one, too. This is the last one. I opened it. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. 
It's beautiful. And then this one is called Moon Dust. I want another one of these too. It's like a gold. Oh, all the colors I liked were gone. So that's what it looks like. It has that texture in it. So I just grabbed the last two of those. Okay. Last two. And then I got, so I got just one of these today, the Prosecco. So that's very pretty. I love that. And then I got two of the pink copper. Okay. So I got a lot of the pink copper. All right. A lot of that. So 67 cents. I'll have it for a while. What color is this one? This one is like a fiery copper. Look at that. That's pretty. All right. Very nice. Oh, y'all. They also have some glitter paints on sale. Some glow in the dark. And uh, like some gel, some type of gel paints or something. So definitely want to check it out when you go. All right. If you like that sort of thing. And then these are the last two paints I grabbed. This one is called Smoky Quartz. I really will. I really wanted more of this one. Oh, I would love to have like two more of these at least. And then this one is like Starry Night. It's called Starry Night. So like a dark navy blue. That is beautiful. I cannot wait to play with these in my journals. I really can't. Um, you'll probably be seeing me use these in some videos at some point here. Okay. All right. So I got a couple of other things and I will show you that as well. So some of the last things I grabbed were the the small canvases. Now, these canvases, are uh, this one is four by six and it's four of them. Okay. And they were $3.99. I guess, you know, they originally marked $7.99. Then they got marked on $3.99. So I kind of really like these, the shape of them. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I do have some small canvases. I think they're, I want to say they might be five by five, y'all. I don't know. I don't remember. But I kind of like, I said I wanted to start working with smaller canvases, like, you know, just do some different type of work. So when I do sell some of my art pieces, if somebody can't afford a giant piece of art, you know, a bigger expensive piece of art, say like a 12 by 12 or something like that, not really giant, but you know me, like a 12 by 12 or 11 by 14, because those those sizes tend to be uh, more expensive. They can afford maybe afford a smaller piece, you know, just to put, put it in their home or office or whatever. So I said I was going to start doing some smaller pieces at some point once I get back to trying to do all my art stuff. So I just grabbed these. I should have got two of these. Y'all, they had a lot of them. Now, some of them are marked like $4.79. So make sure you look at the price. I grabbed the, there uh, There was a bunch of them that said $3.99. So I made sure I grabbed the $3.99 one as opposed to the four, four seventy nine dollars or whatever, $4.00 four and something. So just pay attention to the price, okay? And there's called a 3D, 3D Deco Canvas Set. And these are staple back canvases okay that's what it look like on the back um so yeah these are great for acrylic and um you know mixed media and stuff like that that's what i'm gonna be using them for so i got that pack and then i grabbed the six by six size these were 4.49 originally 8.99 i think i have one of these downstairs in the garage somewhere y'all but i just wanted another one but sometimes with stuff like this because it's so cheap you can buy Something like this to kind of play on to see what type of art you're into as opposed to buying some expensive canvases and you don't, you know, say you don't like it or you mess it up. Something like this is great to start with or, you know, or just make smaller pieces. If you normally do giant pieces, do these something like this is great for smaller works as well. Again, six by six. And um, yeah, same thing. So I like that they're deep canvases, like kind of the, um, you know, the thicker canvases and they're also staple back. Okay. So. I might grab a few more of these, y'all. Um, I think they're a great deal. They're really a good deal. So and I think I'm going to say they have some little four by fours on sale as well, too. So check the canvas sex, uh, section. I did see some other types of canvases and like wood pieces and stuff on sale, y'all. I didn't need any of that. I have plenty of wood uh, panels and stuff like that. They had like some, uh, what else do they have? Some of the uh, irregular shaped canvases. There's a lot of stuff in the school supplies aisle that's on sale, all of that. All right. Again, I will attach the little bit of video that I was able to get. I'll put it at the end here after I sign off. You can check it out and see, you know, what's what's on sale. OK, so I did get these. I'm very excited. I brought these up to my studio. Normally, I leave my canvases in the garage because they're so, you know, my room is packed. But I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start playing on these pretty soon. So I'm a, I just brought them upstairs, you know, because I feel like if I, you know, see them and I'm almost tripping over them, I should probably use them, <laughs> right? We should probably use the stuff we're tripping over, <laughs> right? All right, y'all. So this is really big, kind of big. It's super big for the shot. This is one of the mannequins, the paper mache mannequins. This stuff, this thing was $4.24. I saw this and immediately had an idea. I actually like the paper mache stuff. I haven't used it in long, 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 long time. 
because I'm too busy doing other things, right? But I saw this and I thought, oh, this would be so cute to decorate and put on my table when I do my um, artist markets and craft fairs, right? So she was four dollars and what four seventy four four twenty four twenty four okay originally y'all let me see can I see, can we see that originally sixteen ninety nine I don't think we can see that because it's blurred out but yeah this thing was originally sixteen ninety nine and it's pretty big like you can't even see how big it is right that's how big it is it's so cute and I was like oh I should probably grab one of these because you can decorate it y'all you can put it in your studio your craft room. I think this would be really cute to decorate. Angie Bale, if you're watching this show, My Fairy Treasures, these are on sale, ma'am. <laughs> First person I thought about was Angie. I was like, oh, Angie would love this. <laughs> and a few other people. <laughs> so y'all hit up Angie Bale until I said she needs to see this video. <laughs> okay. See this mannequin. I want to go back and get another one, but it was only a couple left, y'all. Oh. But I'm like, well, what, you know, what am I do with it? I could probably put one here in the studio my studio, my craft room, but then I could put one for my displays. I don't know. I have to think about it. <laughs> I think about it. They had some boxes and stuff. Oh, some stuff in the wood pile. I was on sale too, y'all. You know, just a variety of things. Okay. So this was the last thing that I grabbed. I'm going to put this on the floor because it's too big. Okay. So now that is it for my pretty large haul. So I'm going right. to go back and check the art department and see what else they marked down. I don't really need anything else. The only thing else I would probably get maybe is some inks because i always use the acrylic the acrylic inks not the watercolor inks i don't like those too much um maybe a few mediums because i like to you know stock up on mediums even some varnish i'd like some varnish i wouldn't mind some spray paint i have some cans of spray paint but i could use a few more you know like little things not nothing major so yeah so you might be seeing another haul or two for me from this clearance all right so make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned. I will have other things coming. I have a few more tutorials I'll be dropping here in the next week or so. All right. Some great tutorials. You can check out my new beaded pen tutorial. All right. Where I made um, these beautiful pens. Okay. In case you had not seen these. All right. I made some of these in there. I'll show, show you the pens. I talk about them and everything. If you have not seen that video, definitely check it out. It's on my channel. All right. It's under the latest playlist. All right, so it's a whole full tutorial. I go over everything. I explain everything, all of that. Let me say this before I sign off. I just had somebody leave me a, a negative comment, right, about my talking too much in the beginning of videos. Now, I probably shouldn't put this in this video, but, I, you know, a lot of people watch hauls, so I need to say this. For me and my channel, I teach on my videos, especially my tutorials. I teach... I inspire, I try to innovate, I try to encourage you, and all of that. I can't just sit down and make something and not tell you where I got it, how to use it, you know, any of that. That's not what I do. So if that's the kind of content people want to see, they don't need to watch my channel. I had some girl complain, um, leave a nasty comment on a video that was three years old. Okay. She's like, oh, it's boring. You talk too much. You only you talk for the first 14 minutes. And so on and so forth. I'm like, first of all, thanks for the watch. Second of all, um, if you're so bored, why are you even commenting? <laughs> I don't comment on videos I'm bored over, okay? That's number one. So for me and my style of video, I explain everything. I do what's called the setup in my videos. I set it up. I show you what I'm using, where I got it from, what my tips are, what my tricks are, what my recommendations are. So you can walk away knowing, hey, I can probably make this or, oh, wow, I would love to learn that, right? That's what I aim to do with my videos and this channel, okay? So if that's not something that people want to see, they don't need to watch my videos. And I blocked her. Well, I said some mean things and I blocked her, but that's neither here nor there because I just don't, I don't have time for it, right? I don't have time to deal with people, you know, making negative comments about, first of all, three-year-old video. And then the fact that I actually explained it. So you don't want to learn anything. So you don't want me to teach you anything. Oh, okay. Why are you watching the video? Because that's what I do in my videos. So if you're coming across my channel for the first time, y'all just know that I, I teach in my videos. I, you know, I share the items where I got them and all of that hauls and stuff. I talk about that and I always put it down in the description box and I always put it down in the comments that are pinned. My comment is always pinned to most, most of my tutorials. Okay. So I just want to touch on that uh, briefly 
and let y'all know what's going on. So going forward, if anybody sees this channel and they don't want to learn anything, they don't want me to, you know, tell them where I got things. They don't want to see anything. They just want me to sit down and make something and not tell you anything. Then I'm, I'm just telling you right now, that's not what I do. That is not my channel. That is not what I do. So you need to go somewhere else and watch other types of content, content if that's what you want to see, because I'm not doing it over here. I don't care who doesn't like it. That's what I, that's my, that's just not what I do. Okay. I'm just saying this from the heart here. So. This is why I do hauls because a lot of the stuff I use, I, I haul, I use in videos. And even in the, the tutorials that I do, I tell you where I got something. If I'm doing an art journal tutorial and I got these pastel pencils, I'm going to tell you where I got them. Like, that's just crazy that somebody would not even say that. I guess people don't. I don't do that. All right. So I don't want to harp on it, but I just wanted to share that with you for my subscribers who follow me. I thank you all for, you know, loving my content and loving what I do and appreciating what I do. I really appreciate that. You know, I really, I really just, that just means the world to me because I work really hard to try to get these videos out because my life, my personal life is pretty crazy right now. Got a lot going on behind the scenes and I'm really doing my best to try to keep my content together and keep it up and keep, you know, keep everybody interested and, and, and informed. And, and I still want, I like teaching, you know, I like showing you guys really cool things, stuff like that. So, Okay, y'all. I think I've said enough. <laughs> Somebody gonna complain I talked in this video. Too bad. <laughs> Don't watch it. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna sign off. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave it below and I'll answer you back to you. And give me a follow on my social media. You can click my link tree link listed in the description and take you all to my social media platforms. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch after I sign off. I'm gonna attach the other uh, clips that I had of the other sale items that I saw that I did not get or just saw in general. All right. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao. Okay. So, um, there was some fiber Castile, um, items on sale. There were some markers on sale. Sorry, I'm going so fast. There's some pencils. I had, there were people in the aisle y'all. So they were looking at me weird. Here's the, um, the coloring books, really nice coloring books. I wish I liked coloring books, but I don't have time. <laughs> a lot of good coloring books on sale, y'all. Look at that. There's one. Uh, good prices, too. Let's see. I'm trying to show you. Oh, I had to do it really quick because then some of the employees also were walking around. I didn't want them to, you know, say anything. So, you know, I was doing my best. It's hard to film in stores and stuff, y'all. And then here's a few paints. There's a uh, medium or so. You know, the pouring medium on sale. This was the wood stuff in the aisle with all the canvases that was on sale. Some of that was on sale. A lot of those, mostly all of those were on sale. The bigger pieces, white whitewash wood, I think they're calling it. Yep, that was on sale. What else? You'll see some other things here. Yeah, see the stretch canvas, the odd shape, triangular ones on sale. That's the ones I got. I'm going back to get more of those. I love those. Yep, really nice. Those are cool. I like those a lot. And um, this is the school supplies aisle. So some of those things were on sale as well. All right, so here is um, some more of the art department. I wasn't able to get much footage, and this is all I found.